We're once again joined by Morella Amato, who is the author of Bureology. And Morella, thanks for doing a little web extra for us. My you know, pleasure. Of course, uh, Thanksgiving get-togethers and parties are going to come be coming up. Uh, a lot of uh, traditional foods are served. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have some ideas of maybe some interesting uh, beers that we could pair up with your traditional Thanksgiving food? Well, with uh, I'm guessing you're talking turkey here. Yes. Uh, yeah. And with turkey, there's there's two ways I like to, to go. Either um, with parallel flavors to mimic sort of the roasted notes of the turkey, and in that case, um, an Oktoberfest lager, which is very common at this time of year, or even a slightly darker lager, an amber lager, works really well. Those beers have toasted notes that work well with the notes of the chicken skin as it sears, sorry, the turkey skin. Mm. Um, but another fun route to go is with a fruit beer, very much like we enjoy cranberries with turkey. Oh, yeah. um, if you don't have any cranberries and you'd like to swing in some fruit instead, why not do it with a beer? Great idea. And then for dessert, a lot of people will be having pumpkin pie. Any suggestions there? Well, at the risk of going uh, into overload, there are pumpkin <laughs> beers out there, some which are too. delicious. So that's one way to go, but that might be too much pumpkin. I might go for a pumpkin beer instead of the pumpkin pie. There you go. Um, or alternately, a stout like we were enjoying earlier. You know how it has those coffee-like characters? Um, stouts are great with any dessert because uh, it's like a coffee, but yummier. Morella, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Again, Morella Amato is the author of Beerology, everything you need to know to enjoy beer even more.